So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a table question. We see the table here. So we see that this table has something to do with handedness. We're separating things by female and male here. We're given some total numbers, but no other data within the table itself. So the question says the incomplete table above summarizes the number of left-handed students and right-handed students by gender for the eighth grade students at Kaisel Middle School. The next sentence, there are five times as many right-handed female students as there are left-handed female students. So I'm going to say I don't know how many left-handed female students I have, and I do know that there are five times, right, five times that X number of right-handed female students. And there are nine times as many right-handed male students as there are left-handed male students. So once again, I don't know the number of male students. Can't call it X though, because then that means that it will be the same as female. So I'm gonna call it Y. And I do know that there are nine times Y for the right-handed male students. If there is a total of 18 left-handed students, so we see that in the total row there, and 122 right-handed students, which we also see here in the school, which of the following is closest to the probability, right? So probability, I'll just say prob, on this test will always represent what I want, like what am I looking for, over what am I choosing from. So let's figure out what they're asking us to find. Which of the following is closest to the probability that a right-handed student, right? So we're choosing from all the right-handed students. So I'll just say right hand. That a right-handed student selected at random is female. So what I want out of the right-handed students is a female right-hand student, which I'll just say RT. Okay, so how many female right-handed students are there? Well, it is 5X. So that's my numerator. How many right-handed students are there to choose from? It is 122. So there's my probability. The problem is I still have this X term, so I can't actually solve the probability yet. So the other thing that I notice about this table is that, these t that the data here can be written in the equation form. right? I can say that X plus Y is equal to 18. And I can also say that 5x plus 9y is equal to 122. So doing so allows me to use, um, to treat this as a system of equations, which is exactly what it is. And I can combine these two equations together in order to figure out um, what x is, right? Because I don't care about y, I just want x. So I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 9. Um, in fact, I'm going to change my mind on that. Instead, so instead of using the elimination method, I'm going to use substitution. Right? So to use substitution, and because I only want to solve for x, I'm going to take this x plus y equals 18. I'm going to subtract, uh, subtract x from both sides here. And I'm going to be left with y equals 18 minus x. I can then use that to substitute this y here for 18 minus x. And in doing so, I end up with an equation, 5x plus 9 times 18 minus x equals 122, right? So I end up with an equation that only has x values. So let's see. So I'm going to solve this equation now. So I have 5x. 9 times 18, I can use my calculator, and I see that that is equal to 162. 9 times negative x becomes minus 9x equals 122. Uh, combining like terms here, 5x minus 9x is negative 4x. I'm going to also subtract 162 from both sides here. So I'm left with negative 4x equals 122 minus 162, which is negative 40. And dividing both sides by negative 4, I end up with x is equal to 10. Okay, now if x is equal to 10, I can take that 10 and plug it back in here, right? So now I know 
that there are five times 10 female right-handed students. So I'd have 50 divided by 122. I go back to my calculator and I see that 50 divided by 122 is equal to 0 0.4, I get 0 0.98, but we're looking to find, you know, the closest answer to that, right, which is closest to the probability. So always check that to make sure. So that would be 0 0.410, and the answer is therefore answer choice A.